We all of us know that we have four Vedas which are known as primary scriptures Rig Veda, Veda, Sama Veda and Atharvana Veda. These four Vedas we consider the primary scriptures given out by the Lord Himself. They are not invented by any human being from their own intellect. Bhagavan has given this to Brahmaji. In Telugu we call Brahma Devu. Chaturmukha Brahma. Yo Brahmanam Vidadhati Purvam. Yo Vai Vedamsya Prahinoti Dasmai. That Brahmaji has propagated this teaching to his disciples, later Rishis. And one Kshatriya Parampara is, Guru Sishya Parampara is coming, father to son, that Putra, Pitru Putra Parampara teaching is one type of teaching. Then comes through Guru Sishya Parampara, Sanyasi Parampara. Grihastha Parampara, the Kshatriyas, they have given out, propagated this teaching. Later it comes to another group also, Sanyasi Guru Sishya Parampara. That primary scriptures alone, now we are seen in the form of Bhagavad Gita. Normally we hear Vishwamitra gave the Gayatri Mantra. All mantras are in the space itself. Those mantras which are all there in the space received by our rishis just like transmitting station all the videos 
audience or their pictures are there. That video audio just as our TV screen receives. Our TV screen is a medium. But the electromagnetic waves are coming from the that station, transmitting station. In TV nothing is there, it is only a medium. Similarly our rishis are just like TV. Mantras are all there in transmitting station like they are receiving which are all there in the cosmos. We believe that these mantras are all given by the Lord alone. No human being can invent those mantras. They are not invented by the human beings. That is why Veda mantras are called Apaurusheya. Apaurusheya means they are not born out of Purusha Buddhi. They are not Paurusheya. Na Paurusheya, Apaurusheya. They are not born out of Purusha Buddhi, human intellect, but they are all born out of Apaurusheya. Not, not intellect, but it is from the Lord. Even the Shastra says it is just like a breath of the Lord. Shwasa. Just as you breathe in, you breathe out. When you breathe out, the air comes out. Similarly, Lord's mouth, from his breath, the words Veda Mantras have come out. Then those mantras received by our rishis and our rishis taught to their children later, later, next generations, they are coming down to our, this present generation, it is going on because of its, the truth hidden in the mantras. Whatever may be that comes from the human intellect, it will never stay long time. The human intellect is limited. It can never be permanent that which is born out of human intellect. Therefore, we take this Veda mantras are given by the Lord. Therefore, Lord Pratyaksham as Veda mantras are nothing but manifestation of the Lord. That is our belief. We have faith in that. This is about our scriptures and the Veda divided into two, Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda. Karma Kanda of Veda presented in Bhagavad Gita as Karma Yoga. Jnana Kanda of Veda presented as Jnana Yoga in Bhagavad Gita. That's why Lord Krishna says, Hey Arjuna, don't take it as granted. What am I talking now to you that I have already given at the time of creation? That is given by me only. Don't take it easy. This Bhagavad Gita is now I am presenting. The same teaching I gave at the time of creation itself. With that presentation, the fourth chapter begins. Then Lord Krishna talks about three topics mainly in this fourth chapter titled Jnana Karma Sanyasa Yoga. One more point I would like to mention, important point before we are entering into the topic. The interpretational problems where Lord Krishna is speaking about so many ideas, 
people consider that there are lot of contradictions in bhagavad gita one place lord krishna says karmanye vadhika aste ma kalesh kadacha may you do always your duty that is your prime responsibility never leave your duty स्वधर्मे निधन श्रेय परधर्मो भयावाहाडिक्शनिक्शन like that so many ideas appear there is a contradiction that's why people always confuse people interpret bhagavad gita different different way there is a necessity of understanding bhagavad gita in its true sense if we talk full knowledge of bhagavad gita if we comment upon that bhagavad gita is like this bhagavad gita is like this that is not proper we have to study thoroughly then only we get clear knowledge about that is there really contradiction then lord krishna talks about ahimsa <coughs> ahimsa paramo dharma when he is talking about values and uh, ahimsa is one of the value he highlights but many times he says yuddhasva bharata दस्मा it is not correct we have to see in a the broad mindedness therefore we require some basic knowledge about our dharma shastra without basic knowledge about dharma shastra or puranas just like that if you comment on bhagavad gita it is you become more illogical and in your opinion you can never derive benefit of that bhagavad gita you are the loser who ever criticize who ever see contradiction in the bhagavad gita they are the losers they can never derive any benefit from bhagavad gita therefore we have to see with a proper vision the proper vision comes only by studying properly properly how to study you require a guru everyone read on the more bhagavad gita commentaries that is not sufficient by reading commentaries of so and so author or swami there are lot of hidden meanings behind that that can be unfolded only by guru a competent scriptural teacher alone can unfold that not any other person however much he is a great scholar even in vyakaran even in other sciences he may be great but without studying from a competent teacher for a length of time that to a teacher who is able to communicate unfold the truth exactly what upanishad says without that study no one can come to conclusion of the right understanding the right understanding is required that's why still people have a lot of misunderstandings about bhagavad gita even those who understand also they have wrong understanding either misunderstanding or no understanding or wrong understanding there is a difference between wrong understanding and misunderstanding i don't want to enter into that uh, details now what i want to say finally you have to give a quality time quality mind and study systematically that's what our parampara says 
therefore then and then we can get the the benefit of the upanishad bhagavad gita is nothing but the teaching of upanishads the teaching of bhagavad gita is just like a manual like any other manual when you buy a product whatever we are seeing in the shops we are buying any gadgets even in eye drops they give you a manual how to use this if you want to get the benefit of that product eye drops or computer or cell phone whatever you buy from the shop they provide a manual without manual they are not supposed to sell that product that is the rule if they sell that product without a manual they will arrest that person that manual we have to read if it is a grinder a washing machine whatever to see into that how to operate it how to make it function that we all should study read that which is in coding languages especially medicine all medicines when they give it is a coding language yes but you cannot see the letters of course letters are in very very small even you wear specs also you cannot read but they have to provide that whether you read it or not they have to provide and they fold it fold it and it's small paper they keep inside why what for if you don't make use of it properly that medicine that product or anything it will be a counter product it gives a counter results and it will affect your either skin or body or anything whatever this simple thing we know in our life therefore we consider bhagavad gita is a life manual bhagwan has given body for all of us human body having created all these bodies human beings bhagwan has given a manual teaching manual life manual this is called life manual how to lead a peaceful life how to make your life happy comfortable secure follow this method if you follow this method you can make your life purposeful meaningful there is no voidness there is no emptiness there is no insecurity there is no unhappiness therefore if you want become a fulfilled complete person in your life you can use the teaching manual this is bhagavad gita that's why we consider this bhagavad gita is a life manual and throughout my life it helps me how to handle my personality physical personality mental personality intellectual personality then spiritual personality so bhagwan krishna everywhere he is telling us pointing out keep your thoughts like this let your food be like this may you follow all these disciplines all the disciplines meant for not for krishna only for our sick for our good therefore we need shraddha we need some faith tremendous faith is required am shastra so bhagavad gita is nothing but upanishad teaching upanishad teaching is nothing but a manual life manual life manual is that which guides me throughout my life so that i can make my life meaningful beautiful wonderful wonderful universe is available in front of me make use of this wonderful life 
make use of this wonderful life with wonderful work. If we know that, there is no misery at all in our life. Otherwise, we see problems in the world, problems with myself, problems with everyone. Shastra says there are no problems at all. But ordinary people see only problem. That's why Pujya Swamiji, Dayanan Saraswati says, problem is you, solution is you. There is no problem outside. It is easy to point out others, but it is difficult to accept one's own limitations. A mature person is one who accepts his or her own limitations, demerits and try to correct oneself. There is a room to grow lifelong. Everyone has to grow. Everyone is growing in that process. That's why we require self-confidence, self-esteem to go forward in our life, to achieve, to accomplish many things in our life. If that knowledge is not there for us, that refinement is not there, however much you earn, however much you study, however much you are qualified, there is something disturbing all that time. Therefore, our Swami Ji says, MBBS. MBBS means people, because of their ignorance, lack of knowledge about our own scriptures, they feel I am miserable. MBBS in first letter is M stands for miserable. B stands for I am bored, I am bored. They, they use the word I am bored. It's boring. A person who leads a meaningful life never uses the word boring. There are many things to learn, to achieve, to accomplish in this wonderful, beautiful world given by the Lord. How a mature person can use the word and bore, boring. And some people say another word, burdensome. I feel life is so burdensome. Life is not burdensome. Life is so beautiful. Therefore, Krishna says in 60th chapter also, Uddharit Atmana Atma, you have to uplift yourself by yourself. You are the master. You have to master your own mind. Then you can master everyone. You can master the entire universe. Never try to do mastery on others. Mastering others, controlling others. That we have to stop. We have to master our own mind. That is the Lord Krishna's teaching through the Bhagavad Gita. You are the maker of your life. Therefore, this Gita is a life manual. Then what did he said in this life manual? He gave the Vedic lifestyle. Nowadays you can see everywhere, in every corner, lifestyle shops. I do not know in Hyderabad you have but in Chennai we have a lot of lifestyle shops. What is that lifestyle? You buy costliest car, costliest dress, costliest things. You buy so many things. For some time in use, afterwards, they become very old after some time. That is not the real lifestyle. Modern lifestyle, they say. The more you are modern, the more life is miserable because you are dependent. You are dependent. Your dependency on external objects keeps you always insecure because depending objects are always temporary, ephemeral. How they can give me permanent happiness? Not knowing these people spend a lot of money. Lavishly, they spend for temporary, ephemeral things. They can never give permanent happiness. Then what gives permanent happiness? 
Bhagavan alone gives permanent happiness. Let's see one shloka says, Sampado naiva sampadaha. Vipado naiva vipadaha. Prosperity is not prosperity. Sampado naiva sampadaha. Vipado naiva vipadaha. Adversity is not adversity. But what we know, prosperity is prosperity. Adversity is adversity. But this shloka says, real prosperity is Sampat Samsmaranam Vishnu. If you remember the Lord, that is called a real prosperity. If you remember the Lord, that is a real prosperity. Vipat Visvaranam Hari. Forgetting the Lord is adversity. What is adversity? Forgetting the Lord is called adversity. There is no different second type of adversity. Therefore, remember the Lord and you are prosperous. If you forget the Lord, you are entering into adversity. But how to bring this into your practical life? There are certain statements just like that we hear. But statements are only information. There itself we have, we need some faint trust. What is that? Whatever said by Veda, whatever said by my rishis, whatever said by, by my elders, who are leading a Vedic lifestyle, Vaidika Dharma Achara. The Vaidika Dharma Achara alone is Sanatana Dharma, we call it. This Sanatana Dharma lifestyle, Anushthana, Achara, Disciplines, Bhagavad Bhakti, Matru Bhakti, Pitru Bhakti, Guru Bhakti, Desha Bhakti, or Rastra Bhakti, Shastra Bhakti. A Vedic person is that who trusts the Shastra full and full. That is called faith. Bhagavan Krishna says, Shraddha Labhate Jnana. You have to trust. Better not question, just like a child trusts mother. What child knows, whatever mother gives food, the child happily swallows. Because the child trusts mother. Then only child can grow. If child starts distrusting mother, child cannot grow, mature. Like that we are also like children and we have to trust. We have to develop a lot of faith on Shastra. That's why Shastra says in one place, the quotation says, Sahasra Hitaishini Mata. Veda is compared to thousand mothers. One mother, she herself taking care of one child, how much? And Veda is equal to a thousand mothers. Imagine well, how great it is. How much we are aware of our scriptures. We need not know mantras, we need not know Sanskrit, we need not know suktams and all. Does it matter? Just you can study from a teacher, whatever language you know. If the teacher teaches in Telugu, you can learn from Telugu language. If the teacher teaches in English, if you know English, you can learn it through English language. Any mother tongue, any language is okay. But you should know that. That's what Krishna says. Whoever comes to this Shastra, whoever learns and studies, they will attain me. Lord Krishna says. They will attain me means what? They do Karma Yoga, they come to Jnana Yoga, and they study scriptures, they come to spiritual path, and they come to understand that I am Brahman. There is no difference between God and me. This is what Jagaraja presented in many of his Kirtanas. He pointed out the importance of Guru and he talks about Moksha, he talks about Karma Yoga, he talks about Upasana Yoga, he talks about many sadhanas. There is a 
beautiful story in our Upanishads. Sometimes the Devatas, Asuras and Manushyas heard a sound from the sky, from Megha, the sound has come. What sound? Only three letters. The, the, the. That is the sound. Like thunder, when it comes, we hear a sound. Like that, they heard a sound. The, the, the. What it means? How three letters can communicate anything? There the Upanishad says, first the sound is for Devatas. It is a teaching for Devatas. How one letter can teach? That is what? Veda Mantras greatness. Upanishad Mantras greatness. The means Dhamma. Sense control. Oh Devatas, may you have a sense control. Devatas don't have sense control. Very difficult for them. Because full of, full of vocal life of their hand. Bhoga always pleasures they enjoy. Therefore, Brahmaji says, O oh, Devatas, you all enjoy pleasures all the time without any sense control. This is not good for you. Therefore, Bhagavan says, you all learn Dhamma. Dhamma means you are sense control. Sense control is very, very important for Devatas is the lesson. Then next the second da is for the asuras, rakshasas. They don't have daya at all. Compassion is not there for them. Therefore Bhagavan says, may you all have daya, compassion towards people, beings. You are all lacking in daya, compassion. May you all develop daya. The, the two das are over. Then third the for the sake of human beings. Oh human beings, you all develop the dana guna. Dana guna means give, always. Always give, give, give. Learn giving. The more you give, the more you are the richest person. The more you take, the more you are, you know, like a pauper. The pauper, beggar, his hand is always down. And the giver hand is always a top. So you love to keep hand down or top. You want to be down on the top. You want to be top on the top. Everyone wants to be top. But what is our duty? Human duty is always begging. We always beg appreciation, we always beg some uh, recognition, we always beg some love, care from others. Give your time, give your energy, give your knowledge, give your money, give your everything, whatever you have. That is what our Shastra teaches us. What Shastra teaches us? Take less from the society, give more to the society. Take less from the parents, give more to the parents. This is a teaching. The more you take from the society, you become burdened to the society. Then you are the consumer all the time. The more you are the consumer, you are creating disharmony in the society. Therefore, don't disturb the harmony in this creation. May you be the contributor rather than the consumer. The consumerism is increasing day by day. How do you know? See the advertisements. How many channels are there? 24 into 7. All the time. Sometimes we will become mad of those channels. Which channel I have to see? Simultaneously, two programs which what I like, they come. Which channel I have to go for? The more channels have increased, the more restlessness or stress is increasing in the people's mind. That's why our Swamiji says always, people are busy in seeing three screens. 
वन इज कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन सेकेंड वन इज सेल फोन स्क्रीन थर्ड वन इज टी वी स्क्रीन पीपल आर ऑल हुक् टू थ्री स्क्रीन एदर दिस आर दैट यू सी ऑन द रोड एवरीबडी लुकिंग एट द सेल फोन यू सी इन द कार दे सी लुक एट द सेल फोन in this whatsapp has come after this whatsapp people have become <laughs> so almost mad of uh, connecting all the time with the people news 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 like a virus it is increasing day by day day by day because of these three screens children are not available to parents adults of course they are not available for parents not only children Our adults, even parents are not available to children because they are always sitting in front of TV. This is the position condition of the people. No time to learn. Learn always. The great heritage we have, great culture we have, treasure we have, lot of knowledge, and from all the way from foreign countries, people are coming and spending a lot of time to study and, and struggling to understand. But it is easy for us to understand here. We are born and brought up here. Therefore, Lord Krishna says, "Know you are Swadharma. Know where you are, what you have to do, and make your life meaningful and purposeful. You need a guidance. That guide, Bhagavad Gita, is a guide for us. Lord Krishna." talks about avatara the purpose of avatara in this chapter we have many confusions about avatara in our house also they say see avatar and how she looks it when they are scolding also they use the word avatara so keep that aside that avatara really speaking everyone is bhagwan avatara only small avatar bhagwan avatara has to come bhagwan says the knowledge what i have given vedic knowledge people follow i need not think about that there is no necessity of about that but arjuna because of sense pleasures people are indulging people are tending many towards adharma adharmic life therefore i have created really speaking brahmanas and kshatriyas to protect this human humanity entire creation what is their job who are the brahmanas he talks about varna dharma ashrama dharma also here another big misconception in the society is about uh, caste system not knowing bhagavad gita what is varna dharma unfortunately thing. and because of that lack of uh, knowledge about uh, varna and people are really fighting and killing each other it is really unfortunate now once you enter into this chapter you come to know what is varna dharma brahmanas are those people who are simple those who are having sense control mind control and who follow satyam ahimsa all values they are embodiments of veda they must teach what is vaidika dharma that is the job of brahmanas they are meant to propagate this vaidika dharma arjuna i expect from the brahmanas this type of job propagating through their teaching this entire vaidika dharma then kshatriyas that varna is meant for mainly क्षता त्रायते क्षत्रिय क्षता मीन्स अधर्म अधर्म द वन हू प्रोटेक्ट्स ए पर्सन फ्रम अधर्म बै पनिशिंग बै एडमिस्ट्रेटिंग ब्राह्मण हेज टू प्रो प्रोटेक्ट दिस ह्यूमैनिटी दिस एंटायर यूनिवर्स बै टीचिंग टीचिंग वैदिक धर्म वाट इज वैदिक लाइफ स्टाइल वाट आर द वैल्यूज हाउ टू लीड a very clear style they have to teach first they have to live and they have to teach kshatriya has to rule administration administration or administering the people looking at the people who violate dharma 
when they go to adharma chata and he has to punish them so that they will not violate dharma chata tu trayate iti kshatriya chata tu adharma tu trayate iti kshatriya that person is called kshatriya that person is called ruler that person is called king that person is called leader they must do that so if you do not know who is kshatriya what they have to do then we are the sufferers in the society not knowing brahmana karma teaching is brahmana karma ruling is kshatriya karma this teaching and ruling properly once they do and vaishyas and shudras later they do their own job there is no competition there is no any inferiority superiority in any varna there is a need to know the what is varna dharma what krishna said what krishna meant this varna without knowing why we have to develop lot of confusions and delusion about regarding this varna dharma and fighting it lot of struggle is going on in our throughout the country in every state almost if people do not know that and they are fighting each other the educated one has to educate the people the educated people are silent and other mind pleases lord krishna says arjuna i have to take avatara when brahmanas are not doing their brahmana dharma kshatriyas are not doing the kshatriya dharma now you saw that elections the condition in the karnataka and how people have trust in politics how people can vote and you see the 50% of voting in proper bangalore is it not shame how only 50% of voting you are voting means you have to vote for dharma it is called dharma it is your right it is your duty you have to make use of that it's not just putting vote for some person you have to think about everything like that on every field everywhere what is my responsibility in the society how my kitten can tomorrow they can live happily peacefully your life is not ending with yourself tomorrow your children grandchildren great grandchildren great great grandchildren even you go to it afterwards then what you are giving leaving back to them only fix a deposit only bank account or some gold is that is a real pressure that you have to invite values for them so that it goes to the next generation next generation next generation it is not one person's job every person every one has to feel and do their own duty if i ignore my duty i have to pay the price any person at any corner of this world they have to pay the price one day or another that is law that is dharma i cannot be complacent with regard to dharma i cannot ignore it lord krishna says many times shankara acharya tells when the adharma increases dharma comes down i have to take an out rama much less he taught no, only he just by his life demonstration he lived rama vigraha man dharma he lived and he taught not by just verbal words but krishna taught so one on avatar one on purpose so in this chapter lord krishna is going to talk about avatar rahasya why i have to take an avatar what is the difference between avatar and human birth there is a difference he talks about the purpose and he talks about the nature of the avatar and he talks about jnana yoga what is uh, spiritual life how one has to go in spiritual path what do you mean by exact spiritual he elaborately explained and lastly he talks about another topic jnana yoga phala what is the result final by understanding 
the self, my own self, my that knowledge, self knowledge gives what palam? That also Krak Krishna says in this fourth chapter. This is called Grana Karma Sanyasa. The title itself will get confusion. Sanyasa means renunciation. Dropping. What do you have to drop? What do you have to renounce? Jnana? Uh, renounce Jnana. Karma? Renounce your karma. Any whom we are not doing, what is there to renounce? Hmm? So, Jnana renounce, Karma renounce, Sanyasa is all that. This is the topic. Can we take that way? So, the title itself needs a lot of inquiry. Jnani na karma phala sanyasaha, jnana karma sanyasaha. That itself shows the depth of this chapter. Jnani na atma jnani na through self-knowledge. Through self-knowledge, karma phala tyadaha, the karmas, what you are doing, they all reach results. The phalam comes. When the phalam comes, don't worry and don't bother about the results always. What is going to come? What am I going to get? That worry you drop. Karma phala, akansha, phala visandhi. You drop that slowly. When you drop that karma phala visandhi or karma phala abhimana, that's called karma phala thyaga you have to drop. That is called sannyasa. Once you drop that karma phala, Abhimana you drop, or karma phala, sannyasa you do. Through jnana only you can do that. Without knowledge you cannot do that easily. Verbally you can say, I am not bothering about any results. Let it happen, whatever happens. Verbally saying is different. But putting into practice, implementing into our life is not so easy. Therefore, you require a lot of uh, analysis study to scriptures. Gradually, slowly, all of a sudden you won't get within one night or within a week. It takes a lot of time. How much time our children are taking to study Shastra? They are subjects. Shastra in the sense, they are subjects. So many years. Similarly, it takes time for us also. It is an evolution. It is not a revolution. Therefore, let us enter into the fourth chapter with this background to know about avatar rahasyam and uh, about jnana yoga and jnana yoga phala. These are the main three topics we are going to see in this text. Please all of you can open the fourth chapter. Repeat after me. If you don't have a book, please uh, I request can Provide the book to everyone. Athachitutho Dhyaya Shri Bhagavan Vache Imam Vivasvati Yoga The Lord Krishna said, Aham Proktavan, I imparted this knowledge. Imam Avyayam Yoga, this knowledge which is eternal, Avyayam Yoga, this eternal teaching, Aham Proktavan. To whom? Vivasvate, to the Lord, Son, I taught this. Who is Lord Sun? Vivaswan. Vivaswati means the one who gives the annam, the shakti, the energy. He is called Vivaswan. Then Vivaswan Maname Praha. The Lord Sun taught to his son Manu. The same teaching he has given to his son Manu. Manu Abravit Ishwakave. 
Vishwamu is another Raja. Manu taught this teaching, imparted this teaching to his own son by name Ikshwaku. These are all Kshatriya Parampara, Raja Parampara. This teaching has come. Then, second shloka, he continues. Evam Parampara Praptam Imam Raja Shayomi He always um, scorches the hearts, the minds of his enemies, Parantapa, the, with his valor. Raja Rishayaha Viduhu Imam. This royal sages, Rishi Raja Rishi means Raja means royal, Rishi Raja Rishayaha. Rishati Janati Iti Rishi. The royal sages knew this teaching, imam, evam parampara pratam, that which has come to, from father to son, father to son, parampara pratam. Then Mahata Kalena, what happened because of long course of time, Saha Yogaha, this teaching, has got some obstruction. Lord Krishna feeling so, no, feeling, no, lot of uh, feeling. I have given such a great teaching. How this obstruction has come, obstacle has come. Happened like that, saha yoga, nashtaha, as though nashtaha, not totally destroyed, but it was not uh, prevalent, it's not uh, there in high extent between people, adarshanam gataha ityartaha, nashtaha. What teaching imam, this abhyayam, eternal teaching, niha in this world, therefore what? That alone I am going to teach you Arjuna again, once again, that teaching. I am going to teach you whatever I have given at that time, at the time of creation. The same teaching I am going to give to you now. What is that? Saivayam Mayatidya Yoga Prokta Puratana Bhakto Simi Sakha Cheti Rahasyam Hita Duttamam May you listen to my teaching once again. What I taught as a Vishnu, I taught at the time of creation. Now as a Krishna, I am teaching now. The same teaching. There is no two types of teaching. Only one teaching. Whatever is coming from Sadasva Samartha, or Narayanam Padmabhom Vasishtam Shaktimcha Tatputra Parashrancha Vyasam Shukam Gaudapadam Mahantam From that time onwards it is coming like a Ganga flow. Same teaching, no difference at all. If any teacher says this is my new knowledge, I have invented my Santa Sahitya Mandar, you have to be very careful. Don't go to Santa Sahitya Mandar. We don't require any Santa Sahitya. We have already lot of sahitsam given by our rishis and sisters. We are only just uh, pipelines passing on that knowledge with our limitations. <laughs> with our medium, it has got lot of limitations. So we are trying to give out this and uh, we have to be fortunate enough to hear and to teach this teaching. Puratanaha Yogaha Anadi, Puratana means Anadi, Guru Paramparaya, ancient teaching. I am 
this is the teaching Veda Purva and Veda Anta. Maya Proktaha. As a Vishnu, it is, it was already taught by me long, long ago. Te Adya, the same teaching today, Adya. Te to you, I am going to teach you. Why I am going to teach you? Lord Krishna says, Me, Sakha Asi, you are dear to me. You are friend to me. I love you. That's why I am teaching you, Arjuna. Not only that, Bhaktaha, you are my devotee. Because you are my friend and you are my devotee. Etadhi Uttamam Rahasyam Pravakshyam. This Uttamam Rahasyam, the best secret in the world, this self-knowledge, the nature of God, Ishwara Swarupam, Jeeva Swarupam, Jagat Swarupam, Jeeva Jeeva Ishwara Sambandha, Jeeva Jagat Sambandha, Ishwara Jagat Sambandha, the whole teaching. Raja Vidya, Raja Duhyam, this is the secret teaching, this is the best teaching, this is the easiest teaching, eternal teaching, ever eternal, ever Sanatana only. It never has declension, it appears as if it has declension. No one can stop the truth. Truth is truth always. That is what the truth I am giving you again, Arjuna. Listen attentively. Arjuna Vache Aparam Bhavato Janma Param Janma Vivasvataha Arjuna Papracha. Arjuna asked. What he has asked? Genuine question. What is the genuine question? Bhavataha Janma. Hey Krishna, your Janma is now in Vapara Yuga. Already two Yugas went off. Krita Yuga, Treta Yuga. Already went off. Now you are born here. You are my friend and relative also. And you are telling, I only taught this teaching that time. Like a son says, I saw my father's marriage. And I put it. How is it? I saw my father's marriage. Any son can see father's marriage. At the time of father's marriage, he has not yet come into this world. But he says, how illogical it is. That may be illogical. But Krishna says, Answer is not illogical. Arjuna feels like that. There is a seeming illogicality, but there is no illogicality. There is a seeming problem. Many people have all doubts which are not there in Bhagavad Gita. They have a lot of doubts, confusions. There is a seeming contradiction. Arjuna sees in that Krishna's presentation of previous three slokas. Therefore, he is asking, Bhavataha Janma Aparaha. Your birth is later, very much later. Where is Vishnu? Where is the creation? Where is the Anadi creation, Srishti Arambham? Where is that? And now you are born here recently. This Apara means recent, not very long ago. Recent time. Vivasvataha Janma, the birth of Lord Zan is Param. Param means much earlier to you. Lord Sun born long, 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 long ago, at the time of creation, much later to you. But you are telling, I only taught to Lord Sun. How Arjuna can believe that words? Unbelievable to Arjuna. <coughs> How can I rely upon <coughs> Krishna's words, Katham Vijani, how can I trust, how can I understand these your words? How can I reconcile your words? This statement of yours, I cannot reconcile a Krishna. Iti Tamprotavani. You only taught this teaching to Lord Son. How can I trust? How can I believe? 
because son, Bhagavan, born long, long ago at the time of creation. You are born now very much greater to the son. How can I teach? See, because of Arjuna, we have got this opportunity to listen from Lord's mouth. So we have to thank to Arjuna. In the place of Arjuna, we have to see ourselves. Now we have to see here, the Lord's words, directly is talking to us. We should feel like that. We should not think, I uh, am Lord Krishna talking to Arjuna. We are in Arjuna's place. I am also like Arjuna. Bhagavan is talking to me. Like that we have to listen. Next shloka, <coughs> Bhagavan is going to reply. Shri Bhagavan Vacha reason how I alone taught this teaching in the beginning in the beginning at the time of creation how is it possible you want to know I will tell you reason me janmani bahuni vedita I have taken lot of janmas lot of words I have taken lot of avdaras I have taken Bahuni Vedhitani, many parts of mind, me, Bahuni, Janma, me, Aham. Not only you, my Janmas, you also have taken lot of Janmas, hey Arjuna. You also have taken lot of parts. Tava api, Vedhitani, Vedhitani means have gone by, have passed that many Janmas of yours and mine also. Then what? You also have taken many janmas, I also have taken many janmas, but I know all the births of yours and mine, but you do not know. That's what he says. Aham Veda, I know what? Tani Sarvani, all janmas of yours and mine, I know, but you do not know. Kamna Vedha Arjuna. You do not know because you don't have that much caliber, shakti, power to know. I know. Therefore, you have trust my words because I know them. More we see tomorrow. Also. 
Hari Ini. Please now put the software in the seat inside a very small booklet form and audio video 